We're back with more secret Brits. You guys loved part one and my uncovering of the Brits in disguise lurking within Hollywood. So today I'm bringing you a part two with our list of the top 10 actors you never knew were British. Let's just jump right in. Coming in at 10, Idris Elba. You smart, man. I could see that. <laughs> I wanted you to choose somewhere safe for us to speak, but goddamn. For most, the first they saw of Idris Elba was way back when he starred in the gritty crime drama The Wire. For those who watched the show would be utterly shocked to discover that Idris is in fact British, the actor born and raised in London proper. The actor attended the National Youth Theatre where he received a grant from the Prince's Trust. However, for some, they knew all along, with the actor hitting the big leagues when he starred in the hit show Luther, where Idris played DCI John Luther, a British detective on the case of a series of murders around London. Now, for those that aren't familiar with the actor, Idris has also appeared in Thor as Heimdall, Molly's Game, The Dark Tower and Star Trek. The actor does such a good American accent, he's replacing Will Smith in the Suicide Squad remake with Idris taking on the role of Deadshot. Shots fired. Coming in at 9, Kim Cattrall. Yeah, we got cut off. Look, I need to get him three VIP seats and... Look at you! Look at you eating your pesto! Ooh. Most people will know Kim Cattrall from her smash hit TV series Sex and the City, which ran from 1998 to 2004, with the actress playing the fan favourite character Samantha Jones, alongside Sarah Jessica Parker, Kristen Davis and Cynthia Nixon. It appears to most that Kim is a New Yorker through and through, however this is not the case. She was actually born in Liverpool, England, before moving with her family to Canada. However, Kim returned to the UK at the age of 11 to train at the Academy of Music and Dramatic arts. And not long after, the actress landed a contract with Universal Pictures, during which time she was able to perfect her American accent that we hear in most of her movie roles, including Sex and the City and Mannequin. Coming in at 8, Ruth Wilson. No, I, I, I can't. If, if, if Cole finds you out here, he'll... For what? I'm sorry, I have to go. I can't. Allison. Ruth Wilson is one of those actors that pops up in a cropload of films, yet you can't quite remember her name or where you first saw her. Yet she is perhaps one of the greatest actors to hail from the UK. Born and raised in Surrey, Ruth first hit our screens when she appeared as Jane Eyre in the TV miniseries of the same name, before going on to star in Anna Karenina, The Lone Ranger, and Saving Mr. Banks. However, most will know her as Alice Morgan from the hit British crime drama Luther, where she stars alongside our number 10, Idris Elba. Now, Ruth is sneaky with the actress capable of nailing most accents and dialects, specifically American, which she shows off in the Showtime series The Affair. In more recent news, you'll be able to find Ruth starring as Marissa in the highly anticipated TV series His Dark Materials, which is currently in post-production. Coming in at 7, Rebecca Hall. A few days ago, my bank was robbed. Four men took it over and opened the safe. They took me as a hostage. We always forget about Rebecca Hall. I mean, honestly, I forgot. I even put her on my list until I almost filmed this with nothing written for this number. Anyway, I digress. This isn't about my dislike for Rebecca Hall or her subpar acting abilities, but instead her heritage. Rebecca Hall was born and raised in London, England, and gained a lot of attention when she starred in the 2006 drama The Prestige alongside Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale. However, most Americans will know her from Christine, The Gift, and of course, The Town, where she starred alongside Ben Affleck. The actress absolutely nails the American accent and the fact that her mother is an American I'm sure certainly helps. I mean, I did love the town and the prestige, so I'll give her that, but we're still not on great terms. Coming in at six, Andrew Garfield. Okay, 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 I gotta tell you this one thing, I gotta tell you this one thing, and it's, it's about the, the vigilante and the car thief, alright? Oh. Oh, Andrew Garfield. Most know him as the Spider-Man that once was, before he was kicked to the curb and replaced by a superior Brit, Tom Holland. But we're not talking about Spider-Man with this number, we're talking about his heritage. Andrew Garfield was born in LA to a British-born mother and an American-born father, before moving at the age of three to Surrey, UK, where he went on to study acting at the Central School of Speech and Drama. His professional career debut was on the Channel 14 series Sugar Rush, which I was obsessed with, before he went on to nab a handful of roles that garnered him a a lot of attention, including Boy A, The Other Berlin Girl, The Imaginarium of Dr. Panassis, and Never Let Me Go. Now, as much as I hated his depiction of the friendly neighborhood Spider Man, many loved it, proving this Brit deserves to shine in the Hollywood spotlight. Just not as an Avenger, just saying. Coming in at five, Jamie Dornan. It bounced. There's no Anastasia Gray at SIP. I know. 
Anna Steele is the name I use at work. Jamie Dornan shot to fame when he landed the highly sought after role of Christian Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey, a role which saw the actor engaging in some relatively explicit BDSM acts. The role had the actor doing an American accent and for those from America, they were quick to point out that this was not his native accent. So where exactly is Jamie from? Well, he is actually from Belfast Island and he began his long and successful career in the British entertainment industry, starring in projects like The Fall alongside Gillian Anderson, Marie Antoinette and then of course Once Upon a Time which most American fans know him from where he played Sheriff Graham Humbert and the Huntsman. Coming in at 4, Hugh Dancy. That was my mother. Never knew her. An interesting place to start. Tell me about your mother. Let's start there. Hugh Dancy was one of the UK's most noted young talents when he was first making himself known in the entertainment industry. With the actor starring in works such as King Arthur, The Jane Austen Book Club, Adam and Martha Marcy May Marlene. Hugh was born and raised in Staffordshire, England, yet still it seems many people don't know that. For most, Hugh Dancy is Will Graham in the Hannibal TV series, a role which required him to do an American accent, an accent that he absolutely nails. Not to mention he is married to Claire Danes, which makes everything just a little bit more confusing. Not because she's American, just because I don't like her. Coming in at three, Carrie Mulligan. Is all this made entirely from your own imagination? No. See, you were there all along. Carrie Mulligan is perhaps as British as they come, being born and raised in the heart of London, Westminster, with the actress first hitting the big screen when she starred in Pride and Prejudice back in 2005 alongside Keira Knightley, Rosamund Pike, Jenna Malone, Donald Sutherland and Tallulah Riley. It certainly didn't take long for the actress to begin making waves in the industry, with her going on to land a role on the long running series Doctor Who in one of the most popular episodes Blink, before going on to star in an education for which she earned an Academy Award nomination, Never Let Me Go, Shame and then of course the Great Gatsby, where she played Daisy Buchanan alongside Leonardo DiCaprio. Now of course Daisy Buchanan is an iconic character in American literature and it speaks volumes that Carrie Mulligan, a British actress, would land the coveted role. Coming in at 2, Hugh Laurie. It's a long shot. I don't even remember the seat reactive protein level. Obviously you do, you just don't know it. You can all rest easy now, Hugh Laurie has finally made it onto our list. A lot, and I mean a lot of you were a tad upset that I left him off our part one. Well, here he is folks. Hugh Laurie was born and raised in Oxfordshire, England, with his first major role coming in 1983 when he starred in the TV series Al Fresco, before going on to play the Prince Regent in Blackadder III. However, most, well, most Americans will know him from the TV drama House, which ran for eight seasons from 2004 to 2012. Back in the day, Hugh started a comedy troupe with fellow actors Emma Thompson and Stephen Fry, which is perhaps one of the most British things to ever occur. However, most wouldn't even recognise Hugh sporting his native accent, with him making waves on House and Veep absolutely crushing both dialects. And finally, coming in at number one, Henry Cavill. I remember hearing stories about witches. Perhaps the only person who can outrank Hugh Laurie right now is of course the Witcher himself, Henry Cavill. An actor who is all over the internet right now with the latest trailer dropping for his new Netflix series The Witcher, based on the popular video game and book series. However, did you know that Henry Cavill was born in Jersey Channel Islands, which if you don't know is a British crown dependency. He first found his way onto our screens in 2007 when he starred in Stardust, before later going on to land a recurring role on The Tudors, which ran from 2007 to 2010. However, the role that truly shot this actor into the Hollywood limelight was Man of Steel, where this British actor played America's most famous superhero, Superman. An iconic role that could have only been gifted to a Brit. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any Brits that we missed? And more importantly, what country would you like us to tackle next? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen vid. And until next time, see you later. Ruth Wilson is one of those actors that pops up in a crop load of fields, so yet. In a crop load of fields. Ruth. <laughs> Ruth Wilson is one of those actors that pops up in a. <laughs> Ruth Wilson is one of those. <laughs> Ruth Wilson is one of those actors that pops up in a. <laughs> it's fine, it's not even funny. It's not funny. Nothing's funny. Coming in at eight, Ruth Wilson. In <laughs> okay, I'm ready. It's not funny anymore. You got this. <laughs> I do. Ruth Wilson is one of those actors that pops up in a crop load of films. <laughs> <laughs>
Michelle. Coming at eight, Ruth Wilson. Ruth Wilson is one of those actors that pops up in a crop load of films. <laughs> yeah. Yet you can't quite remember her name or where you first saw her. <laughs> now Ruth is sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> 